Columbia, South Carolina is the first American city named after the famous explorer Christopher Columbus. It celebrates his curious spirit by offering plenty of worthwhile areas for locals and visitors to explore. Keep watching to learn all about the best things to do in Columbia, South Carolina. Hampton Preston Mansion This mansion was built in 1818, making it one of the oldest surviving structures in Columbia. Over time, it served as a private home, governor's mansion, convent, Union Army headquarters, the campus of four different colleges, and several other fascinating things. Today, it's a museum that provides a look back into the antebellum period. It has a large veranda, Doric columns, an open interior full of fine furnishing, and gorgeous gardens. Its artifacts and exhibits show what life was like for Hampton and Preston families who lived in the home, alongside their enslaved workers. Robert Mills House and Gardens There's more than one famous house in Columbia, South Carolina. This one was built in 1823 and serves as one of the city's five primary historical landmarks. It was named after the designer and was originally built for Ainsley and Sarah Hall. When that plan fell through, it was used as a campus for religious schools. It has since been turned into a museum with period rooms, galleries, art, and other relics from the 18th and 19th centuries. It's also a popular wedding venue because of the peace and beauty of its grounds. South Carolina State House this historic building was completed in 1907 to house South Carolina's seat of government and renovated from 1995 to 98. It has beautiful classical revival-style architecture with a copper dome and large portico on the outside. There are also beautiful stained glass windows and artwork on marble walls inside. The grounds are impressive, with green plants and monuments all around. Buy a map at the gift shop and go on a self-guided tour. Adventure Children's Museum This is one of the best family-friendly things to do in Colombia. It's the second largest interactive children's museum globally, with over 350 exhibits. You'll also find the largest statue of a child on Earth sitting at the entrance. Eddie is 40 feet tall and weighs 35,000 pounds. Children are allowed and encouraged to climb atop and inside him to learn about human anatomy. Columbia Museum of Art this museum opened in 1908 and now attracts 150,000 visitors a year. Its art spans 5,000 years of history with works organized by theme. It's known for European and American pieces, but features other highlights such as photo installations, sculptures, Chinese ceramics and carvings, and more. It's also a thriving community space with classes, concerts, and annual cultural events. South Carolina State Museum this spot used to be a 19th century mill, but opened as the largest museum in South Carolina in 1894. It displays over 70,000 objects spread across four exhibit areas, focusing on natural history, art, culture, science, technology, and other disciplines. Many of its offerings are interactive, such as the Digital Dome Planetarium and Observatory and the 4D Theater. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already and stick around for more of the best of Columbia. Columbia Canal and Riverfront Park The Columbia Canal was built in 1824 and is the only surviving canal in South Carolina. It's the center point of the Riverfront Park that also features a two and a half mile trail for a bit of physical activity. There are also smaller trails to walk along. Go to the original Columbia Waterworks to see the world's first electrically operated textile mill. Lake Murray. This beautiful spot offers 50,000 acres of natural beauty and 650 miles of shoreline. It used to be the site of the Lake Murray Dam, formerly the largest earthen dam in the world at 60 meters high. It once generated hydroelectric power for the entire state. It alone makes the trip to Lake Murray worthwhile. You can also take part in the tradition of leaving a love lock on it with your significant other. There's also plenty of recreational activities to enjoy around the lake, including fishing, swimming, boating, scuba diving, paddle boarding, and more. Dreyer Island State Park These three islands take up 340 acres of space and are linked to Lake Murray through two bridges and a causeway. They provide gorgeous views of the lake and offer 12 miles of shoreline for you to fish, hike, and camp along. There's a nature trail with easy-to-read signs, and you can also bring your pets along with you. 
Saluda Shoals. This 480-acre park is one of the best places to visit in Colombia if you're looking to spend a day out on the water. It's 10 minutes away from the Lake Murray Dam, but offers plenty of unique experiences. Walk, hike, or fish along its 10-mile trails. Swim or boat on the water. Send your kids to the splash pad or your dogs to the Barking Lot Dog Park. You can even go on a guided canoe trip or rent a kayak or bike to explore on your own. Congaree National Park this 15,000-acre park was established in 2003 to protect the largest old-growth bottomland hardwood forest in the U.S. Many of its trees are over 100 feet tall, and two dozen of them are known as champion trees because they are the largest of their species. There's also a 2.5-mile boardwalk over the floodplain, and walking it will let you see the park's most beautiful areas. Walk, hike, or kayak through and along your journey, you'll see wildlife such as deer, raccoons, and opossums, as well as beautiful plants and trees. You can even camp out for a few nights and marvel at the rare synchronous fireflies that all light up at the same time. Sesquicentennial State Park This 1,400-acre state park sits in the Sandhills region, 12 miles from downtown. It was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s and given to the city of Columbia to mark its 150th birthday. There are spaces for almost every type of outdoor activity, including fishing, boating, and walking. It also has camping sites, picnic shelters, and a retreat center with a full kitchen. There's even a membership-only dog park where you can let your furry friend off-leash. Harbison State Forest this outdoor area has over 18 miles of hiking trails, a canoe landing, picnic shelters, and more. It's also an educational experience with portions dedicated to teaching visitors about modern forestry. Riverbanks Zoo and Botanical Gardens Over 2,000 species call this place home, and it's the largest mid-sized zoo in the U.S. It's also one of the most beautiful, with a 170-acre botanical garden full of plant and animal species. It even has a zip line for you to swing down on like a monkey. Tunnel Vision Mural A car park is the last place you'd expect to find a unique art piece, but that's part of what puts this one on the list of the best things to do in Colombia. Blue Sky, one of the city's most famous artists, spent a year painting it beginning in 1974. It shows a road and a tunnel leading to the sun in the distance. It uses an optical illusion technique known as trompe l'oeil that makes you feel as if you could drive into it. It lights up at night, making it the perfect photo opportunity at any time of day. It's also next to one of Blue Sky's other notable works called the Busted Plug, the world's largest sculpture of a fire hydrant. University of South Carolina The university was founded in 1801. The campus covers much of the city's center and is worth visiting for its unique old buildings, monuments, memorials, theater, center for the arts, library, and the McKissick Museum. It also has beautiful green spaces and multi-purpose sports stadiums. williams Bryce Stadium This stadium was opened in 1934 as the home base of the University of Columbia, the Gamecocks, which explains why it's known as the Cockpit. It has a capacity of over 80,000. When it's full of fans, cheerleaders, and a marching band, parts of the stadium vibrate from the sound they create. Segra Park This is the place to go in Colombia if you're looking to support a minor league team. It has a capacity of 10,000 and hosts the Colombia Fireflies baseball team. You can also enjoy soccer and football games, concerts, and various other events. South Carolina State Farmers Market and Soda City Market the State Farmer's Market has fresh produce, baked goods, gardening supplies, and more. A harvest calendar will tell you what's available, but one of the best places to grab a bite is Judy's. Columbia's nickname is the Soda City because locals often call it Cola for short. This is also how the Soda City Market earned its name. It's open every Saturday morning on Main Street and features fruits and veggies, art, street performers, and more. Mass General Store this unique shop was owned by the Mast family in the 1970s and still maintains the feeling of an old general store. It has sports equipment, souvenirs, candy, and more. You can spend hours exploring it, and there's a corner to relax in with a warm stove and a coffee area if you need a pick-me-up. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Colombia? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. 
click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.